I don't like to hear a truck running. The driver's not in it. He ain't buying the fuel for it. Don't get it, man. There's the pipe where it eat, and also eat the end, almost eat the end off of it on both ends. Now Jay's working on it. We're flushing this thing right now. Now this engine has been in this thing. You can see all the orange. Looks like rust looking stuff. So Jay's, we're flushing it right now. We're gonna run it with just regular, with just plain water in it for a few days and then we'll go back with some cool guard there's cool guard you see all it you see it blowed all this crap out look at where it's eating on all that what the heck that is man gotta be some type of acid i mean it's eating that metal up right there of course all you mechanics out there that watch this stuff are probably thinking just like jay and i are right now Wonder what the liners look like, Jay. Hmm. I don't know, <laughs> but uh, it can't be good if it eats that pipe into. No. It's not good. So, but I mean, that's just pure rust right there. Oh. Now, we have to put the, when we put the engine in here, it has to have cool guard put in it, right? And everything has to have the cool guard, which is John Deere's coolant, which God knows who it's probably made by, right? Yeah. Pressed on. Shell. Shell, pressed on. Somebody. So. And I got B and G, they're here too. Uh working on the six third. We got a couple hydrostatic lines that they're gonna replace on that machine for us. I'll get on that here in a minute. These videos are gonna be really jacked up. We're gonna lose some production this week, a little bit, not bad. But, uh, of course, you see Jay's not in a Stribling uniform. Of course, I told y'all the other day, he didn't work for Stribling no more. Had to, get some, had to get some different scenery, right? That's right. Right. You mind me, is it all right for me to say who you work for now? Or? Yeah, yeah. Okay, all right, well, I'll get that. So Jay, I don't care, no. okay. I but your care. boss man is okay with it too? Yeah. Okay, cool. All right, so this is who Jay works for now. They're out of Vernon, Alabama, and uh, they still, they, they got him a new truck. It's a 5500 Dodge. Got him a crane on it. All decked out, man. I like his drawers in this thing here, too. Very cool, very cool. Love his compressor, man. Finna shoot me a time last year in just a second. Got a big old compressor. That truck over there has got the same compressor this one's got on it right here too. Maintainer crane, really cool. So I'm just gonna be filming off and on these videos. Like I said, they're gonna be all jacked up, but we're gonna flush this thing out and put the put the good stuff back in it. It's just got straight water in it right now. Maybe it didn't hurt the liners. If it did. If it did hurt the liners, Jay, it wouldn't be no different than the rest of these freaking 6.8 liters, right? They all suck. <laughs> yeah. Pull it out. Put a we'll put another one in it, yeah. yeah. I was at a meeting with John Deere here. Uh, what was it? Last year, I believe. I was with a bunch of engineers, and one of them walked up to me, and he said, uh, he said, man, he said, well, we know exactly what you think about our engines. I said, yeah. I said, they suck, right? He said, yeah, that's what you said, they suck. I said, if y'all would build something, the 648 later, where it didn't suck, I'd say it wouldn't suck, right? Ain't that right, Jay? <laughs> we'll be back. Uh, Y'all can see Jay's on the 624 now. You listen over there. 
Well, you could hear Kevin on 822 over there. But you see, he's got, he's taking all these lines off. Yeah, it's a bunch of them. See, it's, uh, it's six sections here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six sections. And then an end cap, and then a top cap on it right there. And then you got all these solenoids on the other side over, I go around over there, and you see all them. Just a bunch, a bunch of lines, all these lines. Tons and tons of lines. He's, he's marked them all, wrote all over them. What this thing does is, he pulls it apart, and then here's the main bolt. You see that bolt there, that bolt there, and there's another one right there. There's three of them that goes through it, ain't it, Jay? Ain't that yeah. what it is? All right, this bolt right here goes all the way through every one of these sections, and it comes out back here on the back. So what happens is, is each one of these sections here, when he pulls it apart, there are oil ports tons of oil ports that run through here the valve is inside here underneath here that goes back and forth and that's what makes the function operate the solenoids over on the other side like i just said well in between every one of these valve sections here on those ports well there's probably going to be 10 or 12 portholes on every one of them ain't it jay yeah that'd be several like a drill passageway right well, what, ha what each one of those ports that run through there, and I'm going to show that to y'all, has an O-ring. O-ring, some of them, are all these O-rings, or some of them going to be the square seals, Jay, that are in this? Uh, this here is going to be all O-rings, I believe, because you okay. don't have a square style. Right. So each one of them has seals, a bunch of seals in between each one of them, and... You have to put all them seals, take the old seals out, put the new ones in, and then sandwich it back together without one falling out. That's the tricky part right there. Now get around here on the other side. All right, see, all these are the solenoids. You are, Jay. All those are the solenoids that make, oh, shoot. Right in the oil. Uh, <laughs> laugh. <laughs> Dang it, give me. I think I got on my jeans too, man. Yeah, I'm on pretty shoes. Yeah, I'm on pretty shoes. All this electrical side, all these plug-ins right here, for all that. You can see where it comes back, all the wire right there. So I'm hindering Jay a little bit. I don't know. This is the last thing that was seeping a little bit on this head was this right here. We decided to go ahead and tear it down and and do it. Get it done. You can see I'm gonna talk to y'all just a second. There's a lot of people that talk about liking to see that I have they, there's a ton of folks they eat the mechanic videos up man I'm talking about eat them up they like them yeah. but here's the thing about mechanicing and all that and doing this right here uh, if somebody ever says that they run all the time and they haul 20 or 30 loads a day every day period end of the story I don't ever do any less than that uh, they have just flat freaking told you a lie, a lie, a lie. Because you can't, you can't do it. You're going to have some downtime. Of course, we're not really down because the 822 is sitting right over there. And you can see it right over there uh, where Kevin is. Kevin's right there. He's ordering some more parts right now. But, I mean, you see it all the time too, Jay. I mean, because you worked on logging equipment. You ain't gonna run all the time, are you? Nope. Ain't gonna happen. Ain't gonna happen. But, uh, yep, yeah, that's right. It don't matter whether you're in the dirt business, the logging business, or what it is, if you run machines, it's gonna break and it's gonna go down. But this, uh, there's gonna be a lot of these videos right here over, uh, over the next several days when I start posting them, I'll mix some other stuff in so it ain't just 
maintenance, maintenance, maintenance. But you folks who like the maintenance stuff right here, this ought to crank your freaking tractor, that's for sure. You going to get all them lines back in the right place, man? No. <laughs> you going to work backwards. Yeah. Creed going to run up and We're going to have to swap the, swap the controls on the joysticks and everything to get to work. <laughs> Yeah, show us your that's your that's your crane control right there. Y'all yeah. see that? That thing don't even weigh a half a pound, does it? Like, and they ought to put some. They ought to made some. Uh, Magnetic. Mag yeah, you ought to get some uh, neodymium magnets and glue them. Get some of that goop glue and glue them back there. That'd be the cat's meow, then, man. That's yeah. pretty sweet right there. A little light control. Batteries yeah. in there. Yeah, you could you could put one. You could just put one right there and it'd be enough to hold it. Yep. This thing may never run again. This may be the most expensive piece of scrap I heard y'all ever seen, man. I have faith. They better to get it back going. Guys, a lot of lines, man. So there it is. That's the bank. Mm. I'm glad you're doing this and not me, man. I just, that makes me cringe just looking at that. Mm, mm, mm. Don't be a lot of O-rings. A lot of O-rings. You 